Um, Happy New Year, YouTube. Um, this is going to be a question video, or at least I am answering a question. I received a question from Jean um, on Facebook regarding, actually it's like a two-part question, but I'm going to answer one of the questions in this video. Uh, it's regarding raising a family in Japan price-wise. Um, Gina heard that it's very expensive to raise a uh, family in Japan. Now, I'm not an expert because Mocha's only 17 months, so she's not going to school. She's not going to daycare. Um, I don't have to buy her school supplies or school uniforms or those really expensive but really cute backpacks that are between, you know, San Manian or Go Senyan. Sorry, not Go Senyan. Go Manian. Uh, that's like 300 to 500 dollars, maybe even more. Uh, traditionally, I hear that uh, Japanese grandparents will buy that for the grandchild. Moka doesn't have any blood relatives here, but she does have a lot of, uh, I guess, Japanese grandparents who take care of her and look out for her. So, this is just my experience living in Yamanashi, a somewhat smallish, big town. Uh, big city and with a child who is not going to school right now. Now I work part-time with Mocha. My boss is actually really cool so I'm allowed to go to work with Mocha. Um, I used to work at a preschool and if I was to return there um, I'm allowed to bring Mocha with me as well because they deal with young children uh, starting at two or three years old. Two years old if the child's slightly mature um, but mostly two years old. I will not be returning to that school because I like my current job a little bit more. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, I made a list of things I want to cover. I don't want to go into too much details um, outside the uh, child care aspect or raising a family aspect of it. Um, I would like to say before uh, my husband's current job, we he was working with Interact, uh, which is a dispatch company. And Interact is, uh, it would be very yeah. difficult to raise a family if he was on, still on his Interact salary. Now, with that said, I think Interact is still a great company for someone who is coming here, who is young and single and wants to experience Japan. And I won't go into more details about that, but if you want to know more about it, you know, being with a dispatch company, uh, please go ahead and comment below or send me a, um, a PM on yeah. Facebook or YouTube and I can definitely help you with that. Well, can't try to help you with that. Um, also, there are two types of health insurance. Uh, I'm just going to go into this very quickly. There's national health insurance, which is what you pay out of your pocket, and it's based on your annual salary. There is a minimum you have to pay. And then there is employee, employee health insurance, which uh, is what your company will pay for, or at least pay majority of it, and then they take out the rest of your paycheck. Um, if you were with Interact, you would have to pay na national health insurance because technically you're a part-time employee. Again, enough with Interact. I will not go into more details. So, Mocha right now, um, like I said, we're not. she's not going to school. She's not in daycare. Uh, we're not paying monthly for anything for her right now except for swimming lessons, which is just a re recreational activity. So, it's not something that, uh, it's just a hobby. So, that's out of pocket, of course. Um, I'll talk about, um, you know, up until when I gave birth to her, the cost for that. Um, doctors visits her between, I think, uh, Sen Yen to San Sen Yen, so about a thousand to three thousand, so like ten to thirty dollars. And on the rare occasion, like once or twice, I did pay Ichiman Yen, so about a hundred dollars. Uh, that was for blood work and tests and, so, and a whole lot of things. I was at the doctor's for a good hour just getting stuff done. So that was only done once or twice, I believe. Um, and doctor's appointments were once a month, and as we got closer to her birth date, they became more frequent, so between uh, two or three times a month, and then weekly when it was like a month or two before she was born. Um, the cost for giving birth in Japan uh, every city, I think, might be different, but in our city, they cover 200,000 uh, yen, which is about uh, $2,000 uh, that goes towards your your birth cost in Japan. Um, it's not covered with national health or employee health insurance. That's covered by the city. So 
in addition to having the city cover 200000 we did have to pay uh, six months, so like uh, $600. I, that's for the room stay and I guess food and all sorts of different extras, like you have to pay for the diapers you have to that you use during your stay. And I stayed in the hospital for five days. Now at first, five days sounds like a long time to stay in a hospital, but I'm so grateful for those five days. I learned so much. The nurses were so patient with me. Uh, it was just a really good experience. And I was exhausted, so it was nice to be able to relax. And I had a foot massage and a, I think a face massage. So it was just a really great experience. Um, the meals were okay. The last meal, the congratulatory meal, was really awesome. But uh, now I know next time, if there is a next time, that I can uh, specify what I'd like for my meals. Because I kept looking at my neighbor's meal and shit. I'm like, oh, I wish I had that. So that's uh, that was a good experience. Now that your cost for giving birth will go up depending on the services you get. So if you were to get a private room, um, I think they were offered at uh, 6000 so about 60 bucks a night. So times five, so that would that would add on to your cost, and you, again the meals will add on. And I guess if you had a child and you wanted childcare, uh, they provide that as well. And I guess that would add on to your cost. So that's really what we paid for, like the big fee we had to pay for. Um, again, we don't really pay much for her right now, and I think I'd like to do an updated version of this video in a year to come when she does go to school. I would like to wait until she's about two and a half to three years old where she can actually start forming um, sentences to express how she's feeling. So uh, I feel more comfortable giving her to someone <laughs> to someone else to take care of and she can explain to me what happened or at least tell me her expression of what, you know, what happened at childcare or preschool. Hopefully um, I'll actually be working at that school I send her to so I could just be there and watch her helicopter parent. I know it's terrible, but I'm, I'm actually fine with the healthcare or with the uh, childcare here, so I, I actually trust them here. So if she wants to go to a preschool or like Hoyken without me, um, I feel confident that she'll be taken care of. Um, so in regards to fees that we currently pay, um, not much, but there are a lot of great free things that are available for children here, like uh, free healthcare until she's 12 years old. Uh, my previous video you saw that there was that free, uh, free play center with free events so um, you can go there anytime uh, between the hours of 9 to 5 and they also put on events and sometimes they give candies to the kids and things like that. There are also women discount meals uh, during the week at some restaurants so they have like uh, really good specials like 500 yen to 1000 yen for a nice lunch or a nice tea time. Uh, there's also certain schools like there's a Anna Green Gables school that's about five minutes from my house, so it's like based entirely on Anna Green Gables. Like even the employees there are dressed in the costume and have like English names and everything. So you can go there. It's a school, but uh, during the they have like a separate part that you can go and uh, they put on little shows for kids, and that's free. But if you want to have lunch, uh, it's a thousand yen, and the lunch spread is really awesome. So it's a thousand yen for you and your child. Um, sometimes at restaurants, kids eat free too. And I think that's what I covered here. Oh, also, after you give birth, uh, a nurse comes to your house um, either once or twice. She only came once, just to make sure that everything's going okay at home and your baby's being taken care of and I guess they're, they weigh the appropriate weight, things like that. So I think I covered everything. Um, Again, in a year or two, I'd like to go ahead and update this video when I am paying out of pocket for things, and I'm, I'm sure she's going to be kind of expensive, um, but we'll see what our situation is like in a year, and we do plan on staying here for a few more years, or at least forever. We'll see how it goes, um, but if you'd like to know more uh, details or about anything else, uh, I know the second part of the question was how much we pay for rent, and daily expenses in Japan. I would like to do a separate video for that because this one is nearly 10 minutes. So thank you so much for watching and comment below if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.